Hello and thanks for joining me for another week with Mary Stream Time Messages. I hope you had a wonderful week last week. The two cards that we pulled out was with I Am Healing with Family Song Lines, letting us know that when we concentrate on our gifts and our journey, then we have the ability to create miracles in our lives. You know, and so the other card that we pulled out was with Eagle I Am Calm, helping us to concentrate on our future and just by pausing for a moment in order to come to a better place inside where we can make decisions with more ease. And so, um, the, there's going to be a new moon coming up on Friday, so it's going to be a great time to start um, thinking about your um, new plans, um, you know, as they reach um, more and more momentum and energy towards the full moon after, you know, which is usually about a cycle of the moon which is something like 28 days I'm not sure exactly but you know it's important to really think about making your dreams concrete then um, having a journal is a great way in order to track our progress but also make us accountable for our goals and you know and we can also go back and have a look at our progress that we've made over a period of time. So the week is going to be starting the 25th of July and running until the 31st. And so this is the last full week of um, July and then we're going to be heading into August, another brand new month. And so if you probably been on my site by now then you would know that I have been you know giving away prizes you know over six weeks and so we're kind of in our you know we're at our well we're going into our third week this week and so which means that we only have three weeks left of prizes to give away and we've already given away two prizes and the next prize um, as you can see a list of all the prizes here I'm giving away six prizes and they total of over two thousand dollars and you know gift number two or you the instructions you know there's nothing special you need to do other than spend fifty dollars before um, you know postage and GST and um, you will receive an entry into the budding artist gift pack which is worth over $165 so the last day for you to be able to enter is on Thursday the 28th of July midnight so if you haven't um, you know got your entry in yet we you know still don't have that many people in that one and you know gift number four we don't have anyone so um, the other three prizes they'll run until the 14th of August then so you know now's the time to get in your um, entry before Thursday so um, the actual card deck will give you an entry and if you buy um, two card decks that will give you um, three entries um, into the gift number four and so I don't really have anyone on that one yet so head to the website um, have a look at the home page and you'll see um, some information about the gifts there that we're giving away and you can just go through and see which one you want to enter you know, as the um, weeks have been going by, we're progressi progressively getting higher. 
the prices are increasing so that's why um, for your order you're needing to spend more because you know there's some really like gift number six is worth over five hundred and fifty dollars so you know and you get some really great goodies with that one so let's get started and see um you know our dream time messages for the week um you know it's the um i also wanted to let you guys know that we're um bringing out the um smoking ceremony video this week um so you know youtube is something a little bit extra that i do uh, that i don't get paid for and so um that um video is going to be coming up this week um so i know that some of you have been waiting for that video um but um yeah the videos do take a long time and depending on what it is sometimes it'll take up a full day um, or sometimes two on a weekend um, so um, like I said it's not um, something I get paid for to do those videos and as you know that I bring out the dream time messages every week and um, so um, it's uh, really so that's why it's really important to subscribe to my YouTube channel um, as you know I'm not really um, yeah I just I don't get paid for doing my YouTube videos um, I don't have many people subscribed on my YouTube and um, I basically um, you know have been thinking of um, <clears throat> using an outlet where I can get paid to do the videos so um, you know this will just allow me to be able to reach more people and keep going with the videos so and also offer more of a variety of the videos too so if you would have received your dream time card deck by now it comes in a box and you've got your hundred page um, booklet there and your um, 36 glossy cards with your gold foil on the sides um, and the famous white cockatoos on the back and all the Australian animals on the front so you know I'm always offering a lot of tips during my videos as well um, so sometimes it's better to just um, listen carefully to the videos um, with some extra tips that I give to you um, I uh, You know, doing the smoking ceremony was pretty, um, a little bit difficult um, because um, it's not something that I normally share in videos, how I do my cleansings. Um, so I tried to do this as best as I could. Um, and so I hope uh, that uh, you appreciate the... Um, Dream time messages and other videos that I bring out um, over um, every week. So let's see the two animals that are going to be coming up this week, guiding us and you know challenging us to um, become a better version of ourselves. And the first card that we pulled out this week is with. Blue Ren, I am loved, giving us the message that when I listen to the inner sounds and calls of my soul, it naturally guides me to align myself to the high vibrations of love within nature. And so this card is, you know, such a beautiful card to get. And, you know, you can have a look at your guidebook um, blue wren is number 18 and it gives us the message that the blue wren has a high distinct call that they use as their main communication and it is through the sound of this call that the vibration is lifted um, 
So when you take this time to venture outside in nature, you know, it really does, in a subtle way, lift your vibration. So allow nature to uplift you by seeking safe refuge as your heart listens to the sounds, calling you home to your very own personal and spiritual sanctuary. This resides deep within the heart that burns within you. And can you hear its call? So the guidance um, to do with the blue wren is to go to a sacred site or a certain place within country that you feel spiritually connected to. There we will be given some guidance that will enable you to be brought back to a place inside where you feel at rest, peace and at home. So the action step is this week to go to a special place in nature where you can tune into this feeling of divine love and where you can also raise your vibration to the vibration within nature and when we're able to do this you know we can rejuvenate our energy and our spirit and we can also be given guidance if we listen hard enough so we could be feeling some kind of hatred or anger or there could be a feeling of darkness or there could be something like that coming up inside of you the positive is divine love peace and a spiritual home where you can tune into that feeling inside and so we can see that feeling of the the center of our heart which resides right within in the middle of nature so it's like pulling ourselves back out of a place where we know we always are but sometimes it's just hard to reach when we may feel overworked or um, feel like that there is some kind of pressure on us so let's see the next card that's going to be coming up this week to do with um, Blue Wren and you know you can't always get the full picture until we do and you know, it's such a coincidence that the blue wren is in the background because, you know, I don't normally do these videos until, you know, the day or night before. So, and I already had this set up midweek from photos that I was taking during the week. So, geez, um, I really had, uh, that was not planned. So, you know. It's funny that you guys say, oh, you know, that's exactly what I was going through. It's like, you know, I even do that for myself a lot of the time. So, yeah, let's see the other card that's going to be coming up this week. And, you know, the next card. I can't believe that we pulled this one out again. <laughs> I am wishing I cannot believe this and you know when I listen to the heart of my soul it becomes clear that everything is already inside of me and I'm motivated to feel my dreams coming true you know this like I think this was like a week or two ago that we got these cards as well and you know I only just finished cleansing them and shuffling them so many times so it's funny that we pulled these out again as another reminder about our dreams and our wishes and, you know, really tuning into that vision. And because the new moon is on Friday, it's the perfect time to be doing that. You know, horse is number 12. And so I also highly rec recommend that when you first use your cards as well and cleanse them is to touch each single card. So allow yourself to have an open mind to anything that is coming to you in the form of job offers, invitations, gatherings, gatherings etc. in order to accelerate your growth for the future. There is an opportunity arising that could possibly give you the freedom to further build upon your dream or current position. It could be to do with work, family or important connection with a friend. So the action step this week is your soul is going to thrive by taking action to be open about a clear vision for your future that will lead to your dream. Now's a great time to create a vision board if you don't already have one in order to focus on the speed and insight that horse dreaming is giving you. Try not to resist any opportunities that are coming and keep your hopes high. So the negative could be there, you could be fearing, resisting or, and this is causing some kind of inaction. 
these feelings are quite natural, but you know, you can always turn a, neg a negative into a positive. So by, you know, shifting your perspective. And so the positive is that this is your future. Um, try to have a clear vision and, you know, bring more hope into, into this situation to keep your hopes high. And so, you know, there is a rising opportunity and it's so important to keep focused on our vision. This week, the two cards that we pulled out this week is with Blue Wren, I Am Loved, letting us know we need to go into that sacred special place in order to bring ourselves back into ourselves, where we have that center, we feel spiritually at peace and at one with the universe and with nature and everything that nourishes our soul. And the other card that we pulled out is with Horse I Am Wishing, letting us know there's rising opportunities. We need to focus on having a clear vision about our dreams. You know that they're rising to the surface and it's so very important that you keep motivated about them coming true because there could be something that's coming that could provide you the freedom to um, bring your dreams out a lot more. So these are the two cards we pulled out. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you again next week. Have a wonderful week with these two. Bye for now.